Welcome to clickmyproject.com Now we are going to discuss about the product extracting fetal ECG from a single maternal abdominal record. Now we are going to discuss about the abstract for the process. This paper introduces a novel two tire technique for extracting fetal electrocardiogram that is the ECG from a signal abdominal record. The proposed method in its first tire extract and estimate the maternal ECG by processing and the abdominal signals through a smoothening filter. The smoothening filter is applied in the pre-processing step that is the comes after from the input signals. The estimated maternal ECG is then non-linearly aligned with the abdominal signals using polynomial networks to extract the fetal ECG signals results on synthetic and real abdominal ECG data shows the proposed method can extract fetal ECG with signal quality comparable or better than the extracted by multi-channel based method. Hence this method is well suitable for the fetal and maternal ECG classification hence the feature quality is more stable and the classification is more reliable hence the process is more efficient when compared with the other existing techniques now we discuss about the flow diagram for the process this is the overall flow structure for the process at first the input signal is taken from the data set the data set is the folder which consists of the several input data after getting the input signal from the data set, the pre-processing is carried out. In this pre-processing step, the Butterworth filter is applied to remove the noise present in the signal. Once the Butterworth filter is applied means the noise-free image comes out from the pre-processing module. After the pre-processing, we extract the feature by using the peak direction. By the peak values, we can extract the features that is the data from the signals. Then the, this is stored as a test features. After the test feature extraction, the classification is done by using the KNN classifier. The KNN is abbreviated as an K nearest neighbor. In this classification module, we have to give the three things as an input. First one is the test feature, then the second one is the train feature and the third one is the target. The test feature represents the feature of the input signal, then the train feature represents the feature of the data set signals, then the label represents the whether the input signal is normal or abnormal. If the category of the labeling is 2 means the label value will be the 1 and 2. After the classification, the results will be shown in the message box. Then after the classification, the estimation is carried out and the estimation parameters like accuracy, sensitivity and specificity is calculated and then displayed. These three estimations justifies whether the process is efficient or not. Now we are going to discuss about the initial running procedure for the process. At first open the MATLAB 2013 and change the current directory. If you want to execute the code means just right click in the main file.m file and select the option run. Now we have to give the input signal number. Now I will give the input signal number as 5. Now the fifth signal is automatically get from the mat file. The mat file is already stored in the signal.mat. Now the process will done automatically. Now we discuss the results one by one. At first the dataset signals are stored in the file signal.mat. In this signal.mat we can see the several input data. After loading the signals, we have the lot of dataset signals in the signal.mat file.
now this is the signal data after getting the signal data that are plotted in the graph format that is the input signal is plotted in the figure 1 now the butterworth filter after applying the butterworth the signal is shown in the figure 2 with the title butterworth filter now the noise is removed from the particular limit and those signal is plotted in the figure 2 now once again the denoising is applied to limit the signals now after applying the denoising the denoised signal is shown in the figure 3 with the title denoised signal now we can change the range limitation into the 0 to 1.4 and the peaks are deducted according to the peak values now here we have the peak and valley deduction the red color points represents the peak valley and the green color points represents the valley points then the test feature values are shown in the table here these are the test feature values which I have extracted from the signals now this is the features for the train values the train values consist of the 32 signals features then we have to classify by using the KNN classification the classification result will be shown in the message box here the input signal is normal signal so the message box will display it as a normal signal then the performance is estimated and then the performance values are shown in the command window here the correct rate error rate sensitivity specificity positive predictive value then the negative predictive values are compared for the comparisons thanks for watching this video